My name is Jordan Pro. I'm 21 years old and I'm a type 1 diabetic. I found out that I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at 16 years old and I was at the doctor's office because I thought I had strep throat and it actually turned into a totally different issue. I'd actually had symptoms previously showing signs of type 1 diabetes. I was very skinny. I was constantly drinking water. I found myself to be starving at every moment. My first thoughts when I found out I was type 1 diabetic was just immediate shock. I was actually with my mom and she started crying immediately and you know it really didn't hit me and I actually wasn't scared just because I had felt so terrible leading up to finding out. First thing I did was actually call Lake to let him know that I was type 1 because he is also a type 1 diabetic and yeah that's pretty much my first thoughts was to just take it all in and move forward with it. From my perspective, um, as soon as I came home from the hospital after being diagnosed, I can tell that it definitely affected, obviously, myself and the people around me, being my family. Uh, they were very concerned just learning about the disease and learning about carbs and insulin and everything that has to do with, with diabetes. So as far as supplies that is needed for a type 1 diabetic, one would be Humalog, which is my fast-acting insulin, which I take every time I eat. And then the other one would be Lantus, which is the one I take only once a day, which is slow-acting. It is also necessary for a type 1 diabetic to have a glucagon pen at all times. A glucagon pen can save a type 1 diabetic from actually having a diabetic coma caused from a low blood sugar. I have to use a meter to check my blood sugar with my blood sugar strips, as well as using a sticker, I guess? A poker. Is it a sticker or a poker? <laughs> what would you call that? <laughs> um, basically, the sticker or the poker, whatever you want to call it, it can prick my finger, my, my arm in some cases, just so I can get blood onto the strip in order to check my blood sugar. So when I was diagnosed, I was actually pretty self-conscious about the whole thing, just because it was something incredibly new to me. I did notice myself hiding when I had to take insulin or when I had to check my blood sugar, just because I felt judged. Other hardships would have to be counting carbs um, as far as how much insulin I have to take, keeping up with checking my blood sugar four to five times a day, exercising the proper amount that a type 1 diabetic should. I wouldn't even call that a hardship. <laughs> type 1 diabetes pretty much revolves around carbohydrates. That's basically anything with sugar or fiber. Um, I try to stick to the healthier stuff such as orange juice, bananas, wheat toast, wheat pastas. It can go on for days. I mean, anything healthy, that's what we try to stick to as type 1 diabetics. But that doesn't mean we can't eat unhealthy. We just have to correct with our insulin. 